Hello there, and my name is Mr. Harrison. I'm the principal here at Google Academy, and this is our parent transition information video. So welcome along to it, and I'm hoping that this will provide you with a range of information to ensure that your child's successful in their time here, because ultimately that's what we want. And I'm really keen on us working in partnership to make sure that the children get the best possible outcomes in the time that they're here and can go on and go on to college or university or apprenticeships or out into work or whatever it is that they choose to do. So there'll be some top tips and hints coming in this uh, in this video for you. So first of all, what's different? So there'll be a few different things for the children really and, and for you to, to just come to terms with. Obviously it might be now that the children are walking to school on their own and the, the start of the day is just probably a little bit earlier than you used to at primary. We like the children to be here at 8.20 so if you can get them here for 8.20 that would be great. Um, in some cases they might cycle here, that's fine, I haven't got a problem with that. I'd recommend they wear a helmet, that's, that's your decision. Um, but we have a range of bike sheds on site and the bikes will be safe and they need to lock them up here. Uh, and in some cases the children might welcome on buses, we've got a range of different buses. If you need any more information on that don't hesitate to contact us here at school and we'll provide information on that. The academy day is probably a little bit different to what children are used to at primary where they tend to be based with a teacher or in a set class throughout the course of the day. Whereas here, the day starts, lessons start at 8.25. It finishes slightly earlier than some schools at 2.30 so that we can do enrichment after school. And there are a one hour lessons with a 15 minute break and a 30 minute lunch throughout the period of the day. The children will be given a student planner and in that student planner, we'll give them a timetable as well. So the know exactly where they need to be and when they need to be there. If in the event they lose them, don't hesitate to contact us, we'll support in, in, in replacing them. And it's all really about making sure that the children get a really smooth start here, they're happy, they're safe, and they can get straight on into learning in the time with us. Our school day finishes quite early, so we finish at 2.30 and the reason why we finish at 2.30 is so that we can put in place a whole different range of enrichment activities for our children to take part in because that learning beyond the school day is really important for us. And we have a right, wide range of things going on and the range from kind of some of the more academic things uh, like your maths and Englishes and sciences to some of the things that you traditionally uh, associate with enrichment, things like your PE, your music, your performing arts, art, photography, things like that. We have a, a learning resource centre where children can go and uh, read and stay behind after school to read in a quiet space. So we've got a big array of things going on. I would really uh, encourage you to push your children to stay behind after school and get involved in those things. We reward students for staying behind after school. We make it enjoyable. And it's all about those development of soft skills and character and communication, self-confidence, self-belief, things like that. And um, we, we really place high value on that. So I'd encourage you to, to make sure that you're getting your children staying behind and, and experiencing the full kind of breadth of activities that we have to offer here at Google Academy. One of the biggest differences your children will face is uh, coming to a school that is as big as Google Academy. We have 1,100 students here and we have a really sprawling site and we're very fortunate to have a beautiful site and it's got a real nice blend of traditional buildings and new buildings. So we are back now in the grammar school and using the grammar school, uh, that's the V block. We've got the big G block that you'll see from the road, that's the wooden club building. We've got the Q block, which is the three store building that you, again you'll be able to see from the road and then we've got the E block which is the main kind of entrance point into school that we use for safeguarding purposes where you come into school through visitor reception etc. Um, don't worry about your children finding the way around, they'll be safe, they'll be secure, there are adults around the site all the time, there are children helping them and supporting them to find the way around and within a few weeks they'll, they'll know it inside out anyway so just to put your mind at rest they'll be well looked after on finding the way around the site and making sure that we get to the lessons and where they need to be. One of the key things for us in terms of our expectations is that the standard of uniform that we set and you'll be delighted to know that we'll provide you with your child's first free set of school uniform and PE kit before they start here and that is absolutely free and that involves everything that the children need so blazers, shirts, ties, trousers, skirts, you know PE tops, PE shorts so the children are fully equipped and we'll be in touch with some of the dates that uh, we're setting up around that. So in addition to that there are other things that would be useful for them to have so things like um, a pen, pencil case, rubber, ruler, or compass, calculator, etc, etc. So if you want to get them those things, um, obviously they can't be too prepared. So those things will all come in handy. 
We do have some key expectations that we need your support on, and they're around things like hair. So we don't allow extremely uh, coloured hair. We don't allow extremely short hair or shave patterns, things like that. So please, can we make sure we just support the school on that? The same goes for makeup. We have no makeup, no jewellery. Um, those things are really, really important. No false nails. So if you can support us on that, that just makes life much easier in school. In addition to that, um, I'd suggest in terms of mobile phones that, yeah, I understand some parents want the child to have a mobile phone, that's fine, I get that, I fully understand that. But when they're in school and the children come over the blue line into the building, they need to be turned off and out of the way. If seen, they are confiscated and our rules are very clear on that. We do have some key expectations around in eating and drinking outside as well, so we're fortunate to have a, a brilliant new dining room being built at the moment um, which will cater for another five or six hundred seats at break and lunch time and our ruling is that you eat and drink in the dining room only so again we need parent support on that and student support on that um, on those key rules but I'm sure we'll be fine and I'm sure you'll be able to help us with that one. As I've mentioned already, we have a brilliant new dining room being built. Uh, it's a huge extension. It'll be a, a really amazing addition to the school. It'll offer another five or 600 seats for our children in, in the dining space there, which will be fantastic. And children are able to go in there for breakfast. So when they get here on the morning, our gates open at 8 a.m. They can come in, they can go straight down, get a little bite to eat at breakfast. We use parent pay, so you can put money onto an account. Students then use a thumbprint to buy food. So that they're not carrying any cash around which we found really useful so lots of healthy options available at breakfast and then the same at lunchtime a range of different menus varies from uh, day to day so we have a weekly menu that we've put in place for our children we're just sorting out new orderly queuing systems um, we've got split breaks and split lunches one of the beauties for year seven is that we'll have lunch facilities entirely to themselves and that really helps with the, the settling process so we're really excited about the future for our catering and for our dining room and we've got extra additional spaces in the kitchen and serveries that we're just setting up ready. They won't be ready quite in time for your children to start in September but I'm hoping that they'll be done by Christmas so it's exciting times on that front. Our behaviour for learning systems are really important and are very consistent. All our teachers know the rules, all our staff know the rules and we just apply that policy consistently. We like to work with rewards, students are given stickers in class, we can give them postcards, the children can send a postcard to the teacher if they like as well. We do rewards assemblies, we do house points, we do Hegarty, we do GCSE pod, we've got all our accelerated readers so there are lots of things that children can be rewarded on um, and I think it's really important that you push children down those rewards routes and uh, your support in doing that is much appreciated. Where things aren't going well we're very clear with the children, we have what's called the conduct points in class so C1, C2, C3, C4. If a student reaches C4 they've already had a number of opportunities to, to modify the behaviour and not disrupt learning, they're then given a one hour detention. Uh, we try to obviously support students where we can but ultimately it's about making sure there's no disruption to learning. Where we have to we'll use our reflections room and we'll use fixed term exclusions but we try not to and we've also we would like to offer support so we have a, a bridge system we have a personalized learning center so we're very supportive in that respect as well when things aren't going right but I do like to focus on the positives and I want children doing well and engaging in learning and enjoying the lessons and enjoying the time here. That concludes our parents transition information video. I hope you found the information useful. I'm really looking forward to working with you and your children in the coming months and years here at Goal and giving them the best possible experience of life in a secondary school that we can give them. In the interim, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can do that via phone or email. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to set up some transition, face-to-face -face transition events for the summer this year so you can get a real flavour of what it is that we do here. Other than that, all that remains for me to say is thank you for listening and goodbye.